Oh, hi, Tina. Hi, Tim. Oh, I see you brought your friend. What's your name? Nice to meet you. My name's Trimal. Come in, I was just doing some drawing. Did Tina and Tim tell you that I'm from Zimbabwe? Have you ever heard about Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe's amazing, you know. I love it. I've been there with my mum and dad. I just know you'd love it. My mum and dad are from Harare. That's the capital city, yeah? And it's brilliant. It's just like being in London, but with more sun all year round. And everyone there is always smiling. My dad says that's just the way they are. What city do you live in? Is it sunny where you are right now or it rains a lot like it does here? Yeah, I love the sun too. You can play loads and go up to the park and play ball. But I like it when it rains too. And then you can jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> but you know what? Even when it rains in Zimbabwe, it's still just beautiful. It never really gets cold, you know. It's kind of cold sometimes in winter. But it never snows like it does here. I remember one time we went to Victoria Falls and Great Zimbabwe in the winter. And it was just beautiful and really cool. It was just a really nice breeze. I love Victoria Falls. The waterfalls were huge and so noisy. My mum said the other name for them is Mosso Atunya. It means the smoke that thunders. It literally sounded like thunder. It went like boom! Bash! Boom! It was fun. <laughs> Well, Mosso Atunya is in the Kololo language. They speak that in Zambia, apparently. But my mum and dad speak Shona. I can speak Shona too. Do you want to hear some Shona? Uh, let's see. Um, if you want to say hello to someone in Shona, you can say Ndepi if it's a friend of yours. Can you say it? Good, yeah. But if you want to say it to a grown up, you have to say Kazwai. And then you also got to ask them how they are. So when you say Makali Hengu, Makali Hengu, it means how are you in Shona? Oh, 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 oh. And you also got to clap your hands like this at the same time. Yeah, when you clap your hands, it shows manners. It's really rude not to clap your hands when you talk to grown-ups in Zimbabwe. Or to stand up when you're talking to them. Gosh, there's loads of things I'll teach you later, though. Want to play hide and seek? Alright then, you go hide first and I'll count to ten in Shona. You ready? All right. Moti, Miri, Tatu, Ina, Nanatu No me Sere Fumbangwe me ready or not here I come right where could they be 
Nah ini ya Nah terus ini yang ini ya Nah terus apa lagi ini ya Yeah. Hmm. Nah, no one under there. Maybe round here. Quietly, quietly, quietly. hiding spots in here where could they all be hiding where did Tina and Tim go and where is their friend can you count to ten in Shona and who on earth is Zoe find out next time on Tina and Tim's adventures on all things Zoe 2015 right here on YouTube.